Hello and welcome to this video tutorial. Today we're looking at backgrounds in Illustrator. We're going to look at how you can create a colored background for a design. We're also going to look at why your document might save with a white background when you don't actually want a white background and how you can get a transparent background on a document. Now before I start the video, I want to show you some courses that I have at Udemy and in the description below are special coupon links for you for all of those courses. My coupon prices are always at least as good as anything that Udemy can offer and often they're even better. I also have classes at Skillshare and again a coupon in the description below will give you an offer at least as good as the current Skillshare offer and generally better. If you sign up for Skillshare you'll get access to thousands of classes there including over 200 of mine. So let's start with a brand new document. I'm going to make my artboard 1200 by 1200 pixels in size. What I'm seeing here is a canvas and the artboard. The artboard is by default white, but that doesn't mean that it's actually going to save as white as we're going to see. So I'm going to draw out a shape here. I'm just going to put a star in the middle of my document and let's make it a yellow star and I'll remove the stroke from it. So what if I want my star to be placed on a background here that is not white? It's not the color of this artboard. In other applications you may be familiar with, you can just use a paint bucket and just fill in the background, but Illustrator doesn't work that way. If you want a background in Illustrator, you have to make it. And so you'll have to make it using a rectangle. And we're going to use a rectangle the exact same size as the artboard that I've created. And my artboard is 1200 by 1200 pixels, so I make a rectangle that is that size. Now you can see it's uh, the same yellow color as the star, it's inherited that. Let's make it a different color. Let's go and find a different color. I have my rectangle selected here. I'm going to click here on horizontal align center and vertical align center so it's centered right on the top of the artboard. The problem is it's in front of the star and so it's blocking out my star and I want it to be behind because it's going to be my background. For this, I will choose Object Arrange, Send to Back, and that puts this filled rectangle behind my star. So my star now has a colored background. If you're working a bit further on this document, you would be well advised to come into the Layers palette. Just open up the Layers palette, locate this rectangle, which is going to be at the very bottom of your document, and just lock it down. This means that you can continue to do things with the remainder of the document, but you can't select the background, so it's not going to sort of get moved out of the way by accident, for example. So that's how you create a background color for a document. But say you don't want a background color, let's go and get rid of this rectangle. And let's say we just want an image with these two stars in it, but we don't want a white background. We want a transparent background. Well, it's got a lot to do with how you save the document. Because if you save this as a JPEG image, it's going to have a white background. You can't save a JPEG image that has transparency. So let's just go and prove that file and we'll choose export and we'll choose export as. And so I'm going to save it as a JPEG. I'm going to call this stars. And I'll click export. I'm not given any option here for creating a colored background or a transparent background. It's just going to be whatever it is. So I'll just click OK. So if we go and have a look at this image, this is what's been saved. It has a white background. If we don't want it to have a white background, then we can't use JPEG. But we could use a format called PNG or PNG. It's also available for use on the web and it does support transparency. We'll choose File and then Export, Export As. This time I'm going to choose PNG as my format. I'm going to call it Stars again and I'll click Export. Now for a ping image we get a different set of options. We get a set of options to supply a background color and the default will be transparent. So you can see here that this transparency grid is appearing behind the stars. And if I want my image to be transparent, I'll just click OK. You also have options for white or black. So you could fill this image with a black background or a white background just by selecting the appropriate color as you save it as a ping. But typically the reason why you're using ping is because you want a transparent background. I'll click OK. 
And now if we go and have a look at the image we just saved, it looks a little bit different. This is the ping version and you can see that the background is not white. This version here is the JPEG, it's got a white background. The ping image is going to have whatever background is put behind it. So in this case, the Windows Photo Viewer defaults to this color background. But if it was on a website that had a red background, then you'd see a red background around these stars. So to get a transparent background, you'll need to save it as a ping or some other format that supports transparency. You're going to get a white background anytime you save a document as a JPEG image if you haven't provided some alternate background. In other words, if you're seeing the artboard color, this white behind your image, if you save the image as a JPEG, it's going to be white. There's just no way that you can get around that. If you want a color of your choice, then you're going to create a rectangle the exact same size as your artboard. You're going to fill it with whatever color it is that you want to use. You're going to place it at the very back. You'll center it on the artboard and then you can go ahead and save your document. And that rectangle that you've placed behind everything else is going to be the background for your document. And it won't matter whether you save it as a ping image or a JPEG image, the pink background is going to be inherited in this case. Here is the stars with the pink background. Here's our ping image with a transparent background. And here is the JPEG image, which because it didn't have a background created inside the file, is being saved with a white background because that's just what you get when you save as a JPEG. I hope that this video has been of help to you. Please, if you did enjoy the video, give it a thumbs up, hit the notification bell and subscribe to this channel so you'll be alerted when new videos are released. Until next time, I'm Helen Bradley. Thank you so much for joining me here on my YouTube channel.